Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Grounded. So in this video, we're going to uh, discuss something that's been uh, changed a little bit, and that's um, building in cans. So recently I did a video uh, titled 10 plus base locations that are easy to defend, and uh, one of them was cans. So we had a little bit of a conversation about building in cans. Some people are saying it doesn't work, and uh, I was saying, yeah, it does. It's just a little tricky now. So recently, I don't remember if it was this update or the one before. I think it was the one before to where you weren't really able to build in structures. So that meaning like the uh, the rock walls, the uh, the branches, the tree and stuff like that made it a little bit more difficult unless you previously already had a base there. So we're just gonna cover real quick, a uh, short little video about how to build in the cans. Some are easier than others and then some you have to get a little creative with. So right now we're over here at the chop can and uh, this one's a relatively easy area. You've got a field station right there. There are a lot of orb weavers, larvae and stuff that are gonna run around here. And this is one of your easier locations to build in because it does have ground in it. So what you're going to have to do with these ones is uh, basically just grab whatever floor you're going to want to build with. Or uh, I don't think the scaffolds work in this one. But we'll go ahead and double check. So scaffolding, it's not going to let you put down. It's going to say location obstructed or invalid surface or whatever. So you can't use scaffolds on these. Some of the other ones you can. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys some of that later. But so this one very easily you can see location obstructed invalid surface on this as well but you'll see you you will you still get the uh, the blue that meaning that you can build here so what you want to do is kind of gauge it where you you kind of have to have an idea of what you want to lay out right now so with these being relatively smaller areas you can only go so high and you can always go only go so deep and wide so you're gonna, gonna kind of want to uh, go ahead and plan it out on how you want to uh, to build it so Knowing here that this one I could just run right into the can. I don't really want to go up higher, but we will try to see what we can do. So I can go ahead and build there. Location obstructed there. Location obstructed. Unsupported. Location obstructed. So you kind of just want to bounce around and see where it's going to let you build. So right there we can do that. And then what we can do actually too, since we're not using full floors, we can go ahead and use uh, some half floors in some of these areas. And again, sometimes it'll let you, sometimes it won't. But I think that's going to be good enough for what we need because I'm not going to put floors over here. What you basically want to do is be able to get the floors down so when you do want to build higher, once you have those floors down, then I can start building scaffolding uh, where I want. So I can basically just put this right here so I'll have a little path going in here. And then maybe put some stairs right here to where I can go ahead and get up. And if I need, uh, if I need something different from there, then I can go ahead and adjust as needed. And you can actually put half walls and stuff through the side of the can here. I've done that on some of my other bases and I'll show you guys. See, even right here, it's gonna let me build right through the can there, but that's gonna stick out on the other side. So I'm not looking for that. But so it is possible, some of the other cans, like I said, they don't have the dirt on the bottom. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Um, we're gonna go over to those locations. And then uh, I'm not going to work on this one, so we're not going to do a beginning and then an end product. But I will go ahead and show you guys some of the other bases I built. So we're going to go jump over to the uh, Welp Soda can over by the pond, and then uh, we'll show you guys that one. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're over here at the uh, the Welp uh, Soda can right now, and I'll show you guys what I did on this one. Got a little carried away just messing around to see what I could do with it. And uh, this one was interesting because once we get inside, I'll show you. So for this one, you can see there's no there's no ground in here to build off of. You still get your soda drink, which is nice. There's no way to build on the ground in here. So if I go ahead and try to uh, put a grass floor down, it's not going to let me. Well, it's trying to go up top, but see down here, location obstructed, invalid surface. It's not going to let me build anything on the ground because there is no ground in here. So what I had to do with this particular build is get a little creative, and that's what I said you guys would have to do. And uh, so I just started down here and I used a clay foundation. I put it down here and what it did was it uh, built right through the side of the can. And then off of that clay foundation, I was able to build into here. And then, uh, so like I said, you have to get a little creative. It'll kind of come through the can. And then off of that one piece, you can start building off of. So that's what I was able to do. And then uh, just kind of build this little base right here. So we have another little area that's getting built up right here. And then up here, we can't fit all the way in, so we kind of just have to crawl through here. But uh, that's just where we have our food and where we're putting our um, our uh, roasting spits and stuff. So, And then I wanted to take it a little step further. So we do have our little defenses out here in the front, just with the, uh, the palisades. But what I was able to do from that uh, part up there was able to build the grass walls through, like I said, with that first uh, chop can that I was showing you guys. 
and then build some stem floors off of that and then i got a little carried away built a clay foundation and clay ramps out here for the uh, for the front and you can see the pieces are sticking out over here and then off of that side piece that was sticking out from the can i was able to go ahead and build stem floors all the way over here build some stairs and then now i have a uh, an area up top that i can build off of too so you do you can still build through the cans and some of the structures you just have to get a little creative and like i said if once you're able to get one piece down if it's on the side or something like that you can go ahead and build off of that and if you don't want that one piece anymore as long as it's not a supporting structure you'll still be able to use that going forward so we're going to go ahead and jump over to one of the other locations over here and that is the jabby cola and i'll show you guys that one real quick then we'll wrap this video up and get you guys out of here so we'll be right back all right so coming up on our other can build base here and uh this is the one this is our jabby cola build i believe yeah so again i went with the uh, palisades just out front because the spiders will come in there they they're not going to be able to get in but i was having issues with ants coming over here and going after my food um so this one the entrance i can't just walk in and i had to do this so with this one you do have a little bit of dirt in here so you can build so i just built one little grass uh floor right there and then built stairs to come up in here so obviously the higher you build um spiders aren't going to be able to get through this nothing's going to be able to break through this so you basically have impenetrable walls that they're not going to be able to attack and i did have an orb weaver chasing me over here once i got inside he kind of just gave up so pretty simple i am curious to see how base raids are going to act with this because i know they're going to attack the uh, outside structures but they're not going to be able to damage anything inside even unless they uh unless they get inside through here so even in even this um spiders aren't going to be able to get in you can see the ant right here he's trying to get in sometimes they might phase through the wall but overall i think you're pretty safe so that's just real quick that yeah, so you can build in the can still um just got to be uh like i said get creative with what you're trying to do if you can just get one piece started on the inside of the can if you even if you have to go from the outside you'll still be able to build a can base so hopefully that helps uh, answer some questions for you guys um make sure you like comment and subscribe for uh, more videos coming soon and uh that's basically all we got so take care of yourself everybody take care of each other and as always stay original my friends we'll see you guys in another ground of video in the future later